a good morning let us continue the third session of the boulder connections now in this class i will be solving problems on but uh, but joints and packing plates along with that we will calculate the bolt value out of the hsfc boards in last class we have dealt with the bolt value for the normal ordinary bolts and how to calculate the number of bolts and how to calculate the efficiency in this class we will be continuing of this butted joint butted connection but connections along with the packing plate and what is the correction recommendation given by the is 800 along with this i will be calculating how to teach you how to determine the bolt value of the hsfc bolt system okay the next problem I think it is fourth one. Two ISF Indian standard flats, that is nothing but the plates, flats, ISF sections, 220 by 12 mm and 1.5 meters long are being joined are be are being joined to make to make a member length to make a member length of three meters make a member length of design three meters design design a butt joint design a butt joint with folds with folds arranged with folds arranged in diamond pattern arranged in diamond pattern the flats the flats are supposed the flats are supposed to carry to carry a tensile force of tensile force of 400 kilonewtons tensile force of 400 kilonewtons assume assume 26 dia 26 mm dia bolts bolts of grade of grade 6.8 6.8 along with along with a fig 410 grade plate a fig 410 grade plate also also determine also determine the net tensile strength the net tensile strength net tensile strength of main plate of main plate and cover plate Two ISF sections, 220 by 12 mm and 1.5 meters long are being joined to make a member length of 3 meters. Design a butt joint with bolts arranged arranged in diamond pattern. The flats are supposed to carry a tensile force of 400 kilonewtons. Assume 26 the mm dia bolts of the grade 6.8 along with the 410 grade plate. Also determine the net tensile strength of the main plate and the cover plate this is the problem they have given okay first step is first to transfer the problem into the data given so first thing they have given is isf Indian standard flats of 220 mm by 12 mm then 6.8 grader so it is your few b is 600 Newton per mm square. Then dia of the bolt is 26 mm. Obviously, your dia of the bolt will be 26 plus 3. It is 29 mm. The allowance to be given after 24 mm is 3 mm. Okay. So it is 26 plus 3, 29 mm. Then FY is 250 because if it is 
Fe 14 grade plate. So F U is 14 Newton per mm square. Then P is 400 kilonewtons, which is nothing but your tensile force. So it is to be converted into factored load. So 1.5 into 400, it gives 600 kilonewtons. Okay, this is the data given. Okay, now first calculate the strength of the bolt. So strength of the bolt depends upon the shear bearing. So strength of the bolt in shear, referring to page number 75 of IS 800. So VDSP is equal to FUB divided by 23 gamma MB into NN ANB plus NS ASP. Correct. Look here the men they have to go for the double diamond pattern and they want to select the tensile of the main plate and the cover plate. So it is a nothing but the two plates, it's a butt joint. Correct. So butt joints, what happens? Both shank and thread will be acting there. So it will be two shear failure. Whenever it is a two shear failure, failure, failure you can directly take it as 1.78 times of the 5 by 4 into d square. So 600 divided by root 3 into 1.25 is the fact partial safety factor into 1000 conversion. This is taken as 1.78 times of 5 by 4 into 26 square. When it is single shear failure, failure it is 0.78 times of 5 by 4 into 20 square. Whereas the butt joint, it is 1.78 times of 5 by 4 into 20 square. Because NN is also 1, NS also 1. Obviously, ANB will be equal to 5 by 4 into D square. ASP also is equal to 5 by 4 into D square. 1 into a common factor if we take out, automatically 1 plus 0.78, it becomes 1.78 times of 5 by 4 into T square. Correct. Wherever the thread is been there, automatically it is 0.78 times of 5 by 4 into D square. So 1 now, 1 times of 5 by 4 into D square plus 0.78 times of 5 by 4 into d square, it is nothing but 1.78 times of 5 by 4 into d square. This is for the butt joints. Okay. So VDSP will be is equal to 261.9 kN. This is the shear bearing shear capacity of the bolt. Next comes the bearing capacity. So strength of bolt in bearing. So VD PB is equal to 2.5 times of KB into D into T into FU divided by gamma MB where FU is the ultimate tensile strength of the plate. I told you bearing means you should go for plate. Okay. So T is the thickness. So it is 12 mm. Okay, we'll assume it as since if I have plate has been given thickness of 12 mm. So, but since you are doing the butt joint, see butt joint will be like this. If this is 12 mm, I have to use the cover plate like this. So this is cover plate. This is main plate. Obviously, your cover plate should be lesser than that of the main plate. How much I should take? So, what you should do is cover plates. Generally, what we will suggest is thickness will be 5 by 8 times of the given main plate thickness. So, 5 by 12, 5 by 8 times of the 12 mm, it is 7.5 mm. Okay. If single cover plate is 7.5 mm, double cover plate it will be 7.5 plus 7.5. It is 15 mm. So cover plate is how much? Total 15 mm. Whereas if you complete the main plate, it is 12 mm. So thickness to be taken as 12 mm only. Okay. Then K value depends upon the E divided by 3D naught or P divided by 3D naught minus 0.25 or the ratio of FUB divided by FU or it should be 1. Correct. So E we have to calculate edge distance 1.5 times the diameter of the bolt hole so 1.5 times the diameter of the 29 so 43.5 
times of mm you can take 1.7 also no issues round it up to irrk no problem so pitch 2.5 meters of the die of the bolt so 2.5 into 26 so it is 65 mm so now kb will be is equal to 45 divided by 3 times of the die of the bolt or 65 divided by 3 times of the die of the bolt hole minus 0.25 ratio 600 by 410 or it is 1 so it is 0.517 or 497 or 1.46 or it is 1 so kb is the least of this 0.497 will be the least value now substitute the value in VDPB equal to 2.5 times of 0.497 into 26 into 12 into 410 whole thing divided by 1.25 the partial safety factor conversion 1000 so it is VDPB is equal to 127.15 kilonewtons okay once you get bearing strength and tensile strength the bolt value will be the least of both the above so bolt value if you compare shear capacity and bearing capacity your shear capacity is slightly higher than when twice the higher, higher than the bearing capacity so 127.15 is your bolt value so how to calculate number of bolts number of bolts required is equal to PU divided by volt value right BW B is equal to 600 volt value is 127.15 so 4.71 so I will round up it to 6 volts once you get the number of volts the condition is you have to form in the diamond shape you have to place the bolts in the diamond shape so how to do this look at this so this is your main plate So this is your main plate, correct? So if you look at from top, you cannot see the main plate. So what you should do is center line to be done. Got it. Now on this, we are giving your cover plate. Now we have to place the bolts, six number of bolts. So one, two, three. Then again in between these two, one, two. In between these two, one. So six bolts. Again this side also, one, two, three. One, two, three. So six plus six. So one side should go for six bolts. Okay. Then this is 600 kilowatt force on both sides 
okay if we draw the front view this is your main plate correct and your cover plate that you are bolts one two three bolts you can see they are also one two one more okay so now they want the tensile strength okay of main plate and the cover plate okay so what to do so you should find out the tensile strength of the main plate as well as the cover plate so let me assume the tensile strength of the main plate will be critical at the section where it will be number high number of volts so here this is the critical section Two and critical section which is passing. Okay, so the critical tensile strength of main plate will be critical at section. One one. So T D N is equal to point nine times of A N F U divided by gamma M L. So A N point nine times of A N. A N is what B minus number of volt holes subjected. How many number of volt holes? One into twenty nine the diameter of the volt hole into thickness of the plate is twelve into F U is four ten. Whole thing divided by 1.25 times divided by into 1000. So TDN will be is equal to 676.59. See center of the plate. If it is, so it is exactly at center of the plate, it will fail. Correct. Whereas for the cover, for cover plate, TDN is equal to. 0.9 times of 220 minus number of volt holes affected is 3 into 29 its thickness is 12 into 4 and don't take the thickness of the cover plate it is the minimum thickness to be taken so 1.25 into 1000 so tdn is equal to 471.13 kilometers got it this is how we will solve the butt joint problems and find out the tensile property of the main and cover plates. Next problem. So now we will solve about the packing plates. Okay. So we will take a question. Two plates. 14 mm thick and 12 mm thin are to be joined are to be joined by double cover double cover 
bar joint by the double cover bar joint design design the joint design the joint for the following data for the following data so first thing is factor load a factor design load it is one two five zero kilonewtons then bolt diameter 26 mm <coughs> grade of steel grade of steel fe 590 fe 590 grade of bolt grade of bolt 8.8 .8. then cover plate 12 mm thick on each side simple problem two plates 14 mm thick 14 mm thick and 12 mm thin are to be joined by double cover but joint design the joint for the following data factor design load is 1250 kilometers bolt die is 26 mm grade of the steel is fe 590 grade of the bolt is 8.8 .8. cover plate is 12 mm thick on each sides okay now We'll take up this question. What is selling 14 mm thick plate is to be joined with 12 mm thick plate Sorry, this is not 12 mm, this is 22 mm so this is 22 mm this is 14 mm and this 12 mm thickness cover plate now we have to give the packing plate Packing plate to be given. Okay, this is to be packing plate. Got it. This is cover plate. Two on them. <coughs> right now i have to design the packing plate if you look at the difference there 22 minus 14 it is 8 mm correct so 8 mm thickness of the packing plate to be given simple right so we'll solve the problem so pu is 1250 kilonewtons Dia of the bolt is 26 mm. Obviously, your dia of the bolt hole is 29 mm. Grade of the bolt 8.8. .8. So, therefore, FUB is 830 since dia of the bolt is greater than 16 mm. So, if the dia is greater, then you take 880. If you refer the table number 1 of page. 13 so primary square okay fy is 430 newton per mm square whenever the diaphragm bolt is greater than 20 mm d by t is the plate thickness so it is 430 mm about thick then fu is equal to 590 newton per mm square so but joint it is subjected to 
double shear bolt is subjected to the double shear so vdsb is equal to f u b divided by root 3 gamma m b into n n a n b plus n s a s b so 830 is your f u b value divided by root 3 into 1.25 into 1000 conversion factor into 1.78 times of 5.4 into d square in last problem only Told you how to calculate one power degree. How do you get one point seven five seven eight? So if I give VDSB is equal to three sixty three six two point two nine kilometers. Okay. Now for this, since packing plate has been given, we have to refer if you refer the packing factor. beta pk is equal to 1 minus 0 0.0125 thickness of the packing plate taken so this is given in page number 75 of is 800 2007 plus 10.0 3.3.3 there is a correction factor which is given in the code so beta pk is equal to 1 minus 0.0125 into thickness of the plate is 8 mm so it is 0.9 is the packing factor so what we should do with packing factor what is supposed to do is just multiply this packing factor VDSB 0.9 times of the whatever the value of got it is 362.29 so multiply this and take care so it is 326.6 kilometers so this is a shear capacity of the bolt next is bearing capacity vd pb is equal to 2.5 times of kb into t into t into fu here my gamma mb so k e divided by 3d naught or p divided by 3d naught minus 0.25 or the ratio of FUB by FU or it is 1 calculate E value 1.5 times of the diabetic bolt it is 45 I am taking I am getting then pitch it is 65 thickness 22 mm is there 14 mm is there then 12 plus 12 it is 24 mm is there correct so least is 14 mm so thickness to be taken as 14 mm so thickness of main plate 14 for 22 mm and 14 mm cover plate it is 12 mm so two cover plates 12 plus 12 24 mm take thickness as 14 mm then the kb value will be equal to 0.517 then 0.497 then 1.4 then 1 so least is taken as 0.497 so VDPB is equal to 2.5 times of 0.497 into 26 into 14 into 590 is your FUP into 1.25 times of 1000. So VDPB is equal to 213.47. The least is VDPB. Therefore, bolt value is equal to 213.47 then calculate the number of bolts required so it is factored load divided by bolt value factor load is 1250 whole thing divided by 213.47 so it is 5.8 and 
I cannot for 5.8 round up it to 6 volts. Correct. Now draw the figure. So this is 22 mm diapo on dia plate, a thickness 22 mm thick plate. Then for this we have 14 mm main plate on this. We are supposed to keep the packing plate of 8 mm. About this, place the cover plates of 12 mm. Then bold value six boards. So what you should do is one, two, then three, four, five. Volt here six okay, and this are known as tag volts. And this is your packing plate. Okay. Next problem on HSFC ports. Very important thing which you have to learn about the HSFC ports. So we are generally we will use the innovative market for the it is and since it's a non-stick factor is more good and resistance is very for the friction is very good they will go for it and main advantage of it is once it crosses the limit and it will become an ordinary bolt to slips it will not fail generally it will act as an ordinary bolt only we will calculate the bolt value for the given of C volt okay so the next question six column A single bolted, single bolted double cover, a single bolted double cover butt joint, a single bolted double cover butt joint is used, is used to connect, to connect two plates two plates of 8 mm thick two plates of 8 mm thick as shown in figure as shown in figure assuming assuming bolts of 
volts of 20 mm dia 20 mm dia at 75 mm pitch assuming volts of dia at 25 mm pitch calculate calculate efficiency of joint calculate the efficiency of the joint use use fe 570 plates plates and hfg of grade 8.8 8. okay i'll show you the code provisions so the portal provisions so friction grip type bolts vsf is equal to mu of into ne into kh f naught divided by gamma mfc whenever the friction grip type bolting has been used this is a formula which is given in page number 76 of is 800 this is a bolt value we have to calculate for the hfc bolts see sometimes mu f quotient of friction or slip factor is maybe not be given in the question if they are not giving in the question always select it as lesser than or equal to 5.55 better always if you take sand blasted surface after light resting it is 0.52 it is in the table 20 there only in the page number 76 it is sixth one sand blasted surface after light resting take it as 0.52 okay now we will continue the problem So, it is a single bolted double cover but joint. Okay. So, they have given like this. This is a main plate they have given. Along with that, the cover plate has been attached on bottom and top. There is nothing but your butt joint. single bolted, bolted single bolted power plug joint ok now obviously any always keep in your mind one for lap joint so two for butt joint single shear failure and double shear failure generally hfc grade will be more than 8.8 .8. .8. okay always generally grade so die of the bolt is 20 mm die of the bolt hole is 20 plus 2 mm it is 22 mm is the clearance of the bolt hole then pu sorry pitch it is 75 mm small p then fub is 830 square fy it is 450 newton per mm square correctly you can take it from table number 1 page 13 okay so thickness of the cover plate so it is not given so what to do may 5 by 8 times of the thickness of the main plate to be taken so cover plate thickness Five by eight times of the thickness, so it is five by eight of eight, so it is five mm. Okay, non-slip joint. Strength of the bolt in shear. Strength of the bolt in shear. Mf into Ne into Kh F naught. Divided by gamma mf. Okay, so we'll assume it as mu f is equal to 0 0.52 from table number 20, page 27 of IS 800. 
Okay, then n a is equal to two because volt are subjected to double shear. Then k h assume it as one. If they are not given, directly can take it as one. Then F naught we require F naught is equal to A and B into small F naught, where A and B is can be 0.78 times of 5 by 4 into D square. F U F naught is 0.7 times of F U B. Simple thing. 0.78 times of 5 by 4 into 20 square into 0.7 times of 830 we calculate f naught 14237 0.69 kN is your f naught now then substitute the value in the above formula VD SF is equal to 0 0.52 into 2 into 1 that is KH 142370.69 whole thing divided by 1.25 into 1000 correct so it is 118 point Four five kilonewtons VDSF. Okay, it is one point one one eight point four five. Nothing but is your volt value. Okay, now what you require? They want to calculate the efficiency of the joint. Okay, whenever you want the efficiency of the line, whether you should, you should find out the strength of the plate in rupture or the net tensile strength, both are same. So, strength of the plate in rupture, or it is net tensile strength. TDB is equal to 0.9 times of AN FU divided by gamma ML 0.9 times of 75 is the pitch length minus number of volt to affected is 1 into 22 dia of the volt into thickness is we'll assume 8 in 8 ml okay okay Thickness is 8 mm only because cover plate is 5 mm, 5 plus 5 it is 10. Mm. So, least will be 8 mm thickness. So, into FU is 570, whole thing divided by gamma ml is 1.25 into 1000. So, it is 174 kilonewtons. Okay, now strength of the joint per pitch length. is equal to least of the above to least of the above two so it is either 174 or 118 should be least of 174 or 118 so it is 118.45 Okay, either you should complete with rupture or with the slip factor. Obviously, volt value will be of slip factor only. It is 118.45. Now, efficient solid strength, calculate solid strength. So, solid strength of the plate. TDG is equal to AG FY by gamma M naught. So, 75 into 8 into 450 see whenever they got into the area 
So 70 thickness into pitch. We will get the area. So 75 is the pitch, 80 thickness. So, so it is 450 with Fy. So divided by 1.1 1 .1 into 1000 gamma m naught for see 1.25 is for the service load 1.1 is for the ultimate load keep in your mind that's also and gamma m naught is given directly in your table 5 okay so tdg which i have already mentioned in the earlier classes so 245.45 kilonewtons so efficiency mu is equal to volt value divided by solid strength of the plate 245.45 into 100 so it comes to 48.25 percent so it is the efficiency of the joint so if you use hsfc bolts this is how you should calculate the efficiency along with the volt value in this class i have taught you about the packing plate along with a butt joint and how to use the HSFC bolt okay I think one small problem we can do this Let's see board. I'll solve one more problem. Okay. An examination problem. Determine determine the adequacy the adequacy of the fast fasteners of the fasteners as shown as shown when 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 20 mm 20 mm dia bolt of grade of grade 4.6 are used assume assume that assume that the strength assume that the strength of the column flange assume that the strength of the column flange and structural T section structural T section do not come do not come the design the design neglect neglect playing action okay this is what the figure is Okay, from the cut from the studio. I'm <laughs> 
So this is the force. P to 50 kilometers. The writing it as angle. 3, 4, 5, Pythagoras theorem. It is your T section. Okay. So P is 350 kilometers. So P U X if you resolve it is 280.03 kilometers. Pythagoras theorem. I think the angle you can find out are like this. This is your P U. This is your P U X and this is your P U Y. The angle will be that is 6.86. P U Y will be 210.6 kilonewtons so f u b is 400 newton per mm square so here the bolts have been subjected to both shear and as well as the tension okay first calculate the bolt value so in the shear and the bearing okay before that the as per the codal provisions the bolt when our bolts are subjected to shear and bearing phase number 76 combined shear and tension so plus 10.3.6 Page 76 of oh, yes 800. We already discussed about this formula in the first session. Vsb divided by Vdb whole square plus Tb divided by Tdb whole square should be lesser than or equal to 1. Okay, where Vsb is the factor shear force acting on the bolt, Vdb is the design shear capacity. Then TDB, TB is the factor tensile force acting on the bolt. TDB is design tension capacity of the bolt, which is given in 10.3.5 class. Okay, so VSB is PO divided by number of bolts. Okay, PO is 210.6. Number of bolts here given is six bolts have been given. One, two, three, four, five, six. The six bolts are being given, so it is 46.66 kilonewtons per bolt. Correct. Then TB tension factor tensile force acting on the bolt. Same thing. Tux divided by number of bolts. So it is 280 divided by six. So it is 46.66 kiloton per volt. I think this is a mistake. We have to mistake. So VSP hmm, is coming on out. It is sorry. It is 35.1 kilonewtons. 35.1 kilonewtons per volt. Okay. So VSP and TB is already calculated. Now I require VDB and TDB. So VDB we know formula. It is nothing but volt subjected to shear. So VD, VDB is nothing but VDSB. So VDSP is equal to FUB divided by root 3 gamma MB into NN ANB plus NS ASB. It is subjected to single shear here. Before the formula directly you can take it as 0.78 times. So 400 into 1.5 into 0.78 times of 5 by 4 into d square is 20 square divided by root 3 into 1.25 divided by 1000 conversion so vdsp is equal to 45.27 kilonewtons then comes to tnb tnb is equal to 0 0.9 times of fub an should be lesser than fib asb gamma 
m b divided by gamma m not okay so f u common to f into f u b is 400 net area of the bolt a and b 0.7 times or pi by 4 into b square is 20 which should be lesser than f i b is 400 into 0.6 here we can calculate a s b is pi by 4 into 20 square ratio of 1.25 divided by 1.1 so it is 88215.92 which is lesser than 85679.79 but 88.215 kilonewton is not lesser than 85.679 kilonewtons so the yield strength of the bolt The extension of the bolt is not available in table number one. So calculate directly.